Hello guys, I am Arvind and this is continuation video of a string and it is part 7. So moving further guys and in this lecture I am going to discuss a string concatenation. So let's go ahead. So guys in this lecture I will show you how can we concatenate two given strings using library function and without using library function. So let me first open up Turbo C++ compiler. So guys in this program we will learn how can we concatenate two strings using library function strcatcat. So in this program we are using strcatcat function and that is declared in a string.h header file. Now in main function I have declared two character array s and s1 and the size of s is 40 and the size of s1 is 20. I am taking size of s is 40 because I want to concatenate this s1 string to the s. So that's why the size of s is 40. And now I am taking input from the user for a string s and s1. And then I am printing a string s and s1 by using these printf statements. After that I am using strcatcat function and I am passing two parameters here s and s1. So basically I am concatenating S1 string to S. So the concatenated string will be assigned to string S and then we can print this string by using printf statement. So now if I run this program, it is requesting to enter the string S. So let me enter the first string and then it is requesting to enter a string for S1. So let me enter the second string that is Erwin and output will be like this. So this is the string s hello and this is a string s1 that is Arvin and this is the concatenated string s hello Arvin. So I hope it is clear to you guys. Moving further guys. So guys in this program you will learn how can we concatenate two strings without using library function. So guys in the main function we have declared two character arrays s and s1 and the size of s1 is 20 and the size of s is 40 and I am taking size of s 40 because I want to concatenate this s1 string to s. So that's why I am taking size of s double and I have declared integer variables i and l and we have initialized i by 0. After that I am taking input from the users by using get s function for the string s and s1 and then I am printing these strings by using these printf functions and now I am using str alien function to calculate the length of a string s so that's why I am using this string.h header file and now I am using this while loop to scan all the characters from this string s1 until I found null character and then I will append all the alphabets from this string s1 to string s and then i++ will be executed and this while loop will continue until it scan all the characters from this string s1 and after that i am putting null character at the end of string s and then we can print this string s by using this printf statement so now if i run this program it is requesting to enter the first string so this is first string and this is let's say second string so now output will be like this. So guys I hope it is clear to you and thank you so much guys for watching this video. Just in case you liked it do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then in the next video.